But Chris Cabba's family say they are devastated by the verdict and that they've been failed. And the other main stories on the programme today. An Australian senator heckles the king in the country's parliament and accuses him of genocide against Aboriginal people. The king has been heckled by a politician at Australia's parliament in Canberra. He'd just finished delivering a speech when a senator stood up and shouted, you're not my king, and this is not your land. Lydia Thorpe, who's Aboriginal and known for her long-standing opposition to the monarchy, was then escorted away. Our senior royal correspondent, Daniela Ralph, reports. The clapsticks and didgeridoo, the formal ceremonial welcome into the Great Hall of Canberra's Parliament House. One of several moments today when the traditions of Indigenous communities were front and centre, including the King's address to politicians and dignitaries. In my many visits to Australia, I have witnessed the courage and hope that have guided the nation's long and sometimes difficult journey towards reconciliation. Throughout my life, Australia's First Nations peoples have done me the great honour of sharing so generously their stories and cultures. I can only say how much my own experience has been shaped and strengthened by such traditional wisdom. But as the king finished came the interruption with shouts of, you are not our king. The voice of protest was a sitting politician, Aboriginal Senator Lydia Thorpe, a seasoned and often controversial campaigner for indigenous rights. She is a divisive figure, with some Aboriginal elders condemning her actions today. But outside parliament, she told the BBC why she'd protested. I wanted to send a clear message to the King of England that he's not the king of this country. He's not my king. He's not sovereign. We are sovereign. To be sovereign, you have to be of the land. He's not of this land. Buckingham Palace has not made any official comment on the protest at Parliament, but it is uncomfortable for them. Instead, they focused on what they call the warmth of the reception the King and Queen received from the thousands who turned out to see them here in Australia's capital. Uh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Palace aides said the royal couple were deeply touched by the support they'd received, including a lively encounter with an alpaca. <laughs> the visit here was always going to touch on Australia's difficult history. The King and Queen were confronted with that more directly than planned. Daniela Ralph, BBC News. Canberra. A head of nursing at the hospital where Lucy Letby murdered seven babies and attempted to kill seven more has told the public inquiry into the deaths that she got too close to the nurse and that personal and professional boundaries had been blurred. Karen Rees was in a WhatsApp chat group with Letby telling her to hang on in there, girl. Letby was jailed for life last year. From the inquiry, our special correspondent Judith Moritz reports.